All right. <clears throat> hey, Nick. Hey. <laughs> We're going to go enter the... So there is the, and there's a f nice entry. The floors here uh, have been redone and are uniformly in excellent condition. Here's the living room. The fireplace. And it looks like they've removed some walls. And made it an open living dining area. Okay, and we'll pan. They've got these windows on the. What is it that? That's the side of the house there. That's the south side, right? I think so. So it's a little difficult getting the with all that ambient light. Huge windows. Oh, there we go. So there's a huge picture window, which I didn't quite remember. Looking out onto a very quiet street on Carlotta. Got to wait for the lighting to adjust to the entry. So we have a lot of contrast. Okay. There's a little bump out here. Oh, there is a floor plan. Remember the, did you see in the MLS? I think There's I some did, plans, yeah. Yeah. which will be very helpful. So here's the dining area, and off the dining area is one bedroom and the kitchen. And there's the kitchen there. So we will, here's the front bedroom with, um, not that big, and it, with a, tour, a door to the dining area and a door to the hallway between the bedrooms and the bathroom. This looks out onto the next door neighbor. And there's a deep closet here with some built ins. on both sides that look useful. Okay, now we're going to go down into the hallway. Into the only bathroom on the first floor. We have vinyl flooring here. There is central heat. There's the vent. You've got tile and a big piece of glass. Nothing fancy. Very utilitarian. And here is the tub. Very clean. It looks like an original one. There's that. Thank you. And the tile is pinkish tile. Looks pretty old. Well, I mean, the hardware looks very old. But it does, there seems to have been some updating. To the original house was built. Oh, here's, yes. So here we see the aluminum windows. This is the remodel. Yeah. From the 70s with these. These are very cheap um, yeah. single glaze aluminum windows. Which must have been what they did. Like the tile and many of the upgrades. Yeah. It's kind of put uh, hardware into the kitchen too, so probably, right? Uh -huh. And here is the back bedroom, which has beautiful casement windows um, that look out onto the neighbor, not too private.
and then another big bank of windows out to the deck. Okay, and bedroom here has beautiful floors. But here's the view. These windows are um, newer, double glazed. And here's the view. So there's the deck out here. And here's south, the redwood trees on the neighbor's property. All right, we'll go back in to the kitchen now. <clears throat> kitchen was remodeled, it looks like, I don't know, in the 70s with tile, electric kitchen, electric cooktop, electric oven. But the woodwork looks older. And what's interesting is that they have this ceiling that doesn't quite match the age of the house. And here is a very utilitarian sink, tile, and dishwasher, older refrigerator, older model, but looks work like it works fine. And then there's a little eating area here. Okay, and that copper lantern, that's 50s, right? 50s or 60s? It's like when this was done, this ceiling, mm. God, that reminds me of definitely of, that should date this remodel if we can figure that one out. Now we go out back to a, a stairs that go down and there's the, Here's the door to the deck that's behind the kitchen. And looking down into the backyard, there's the neighbor. Big grassy lawn. Nice landscaping over here. That garage is on the neighbor's property. And there is the one bedroom house in the back of the property. Now we're going to head downstairs. Pretty comfortable stairway going down to the lower level where the laundry. This is a very useful space down here. But there was some disclosure about it getting damp in the wintertime. It certainly has been kept clean and there is a bathroom back here with a toilet and a funky shower stall. I've seen these before there way all rusted out at the bottom with a drain. And this is the concrete slab in the basement. So here's this space down here, but it's got great light. And there's another utility room underneath here where they have the hot water heater, sub-panel, and the Rainbird irrigation system, and a little workbench. Ceiling has been, oh, well, the floor has been insulated, at least from this accessible area. I haven't looked underneath the house. There's some copper plumbing, but not.
a lot. Because we saw the original galvanized right here. Is the original galvanized next to the electric newer cable. Um, okay, and now we will head outside. There's the front. Now, last thing I want to show you over here, because then I'm going to stop and do a second video for the rear. But there's an appearance here that there's some rotation in the foundation. And it's a little hard to see, maybe on the video, but this will be mentioned in the home inspection and in the yeah right there there's a good example curves, curves in so and there's a recommendation for capping this and that's in the reports in the inspection okay now i'm going to i'm just going to stop and we'll have a part 2 later